from Archaeopteryx to today's birds. A journey of 160 million years. This crested lark and some of her friends live right next to this wildly flowing river. The water level has risen considerably due to heavy rains in the spring months. Despite all the evils of man, nature always finds a way. Just like in this valley. This little friend of ours, who came to Turkey with the spring migration, is looking for something to eat. There are other rivals around as well. In the race for survival, it has to pass its opponents, otherwise it must get away from there as soon as possible. With short legs, a long and slightly curved beak, and a long triangular tail, this bird is a Eurasian hoopoe. It is an insectivorous, carnivorous bird. It is adept at finding invertebrates, larvae, and maggots from underground with its long beak. It diversifies the food list with flies, grasshoppers, snails, worms, spiders. In some regions, it has also been observed that it feeds on lizards and frogs, especially during the breeding season when it needs a lot of food. Our journey continues among the colors of spring. Such small puddles are an ideal feeding ground for sandpipers. With its long legs and long beak, this green sandpiper quickly maneuvers over the water to feed. A white wagtail also roams around. Birds are feathered theropod dinosaurs and constitute the only known living dinosaurs. Likewise, birds are considered reptiles in the modern cladistic sense of the term, and their closest living relatives are the crocodilians. It is very interesting that this cute friend of ours is related to a crocodile. Isn't it? Birds. They are truly amazing creatures. They eat, dance, sing and shower. Only those who spend time in nature know how peaceful it is to spend time in nature. When you are in nature, anything can happen to you at any time. There is always the possibility of a surprise. A little owl stands before us in all its glory. Would you look at those eyes? How wonderful!
we get the reward of spending time in nature by having the chance to see this magnificent creature up close. If you want to go bird watching, my advice to you is to go early in the morning. In fact, be there before the sun rises. The day is just dawning in the wetland. Some birds lurk early, waiting for their prey to come to them. The diet of some also resembles chickens. One of the most important details in birdwatching is to be as close to the birds as possible. However, you should not frighten them while doing this. The best way to do this is to go into camouflage and wait. Do not get too close to the bird's nests. Do not disturb their natural habitat. Just watch them. Going to a wetland early in the morning and watching the birds is truly a therapy for nature lovers. Birds of prey, small songbirds, waterfowl. What do you think might be the reason why we love them so much? As the daylight begins to reflect on the wetland, the view becomes much more beautiful. Now let's watch these beautiful images together in silence.
There are about 10,000 bird species living today in our 4.5 billion year old world, and more than half of them are songbirds. Birds prevent their numbers from increasing by eating some insects that damage trees in forests. Birds that feed on seeds and fruits cause the plants to multiply and spread by throwing the seeds of the plants they eat with their excrement in distant places. The preservation of ecological balance depends on the food chain that constitutes the nutritional habits of living things. Birds provide many important ecosystem services such as nutrient cycling, biodegradation, pest control, plant fertilization and seed separation. Birds are our dearest friends. Please let's take care of our nature and love these lovely friends very much. See you in another short documentary. Goodbye.